A new player may be coming to the AI field. Bloomberg is reporting Apple is developing its own chatbot to rival ChatGPT. There's no release date for the general public, but the word is Apple employees are already using it. But critics argue another platform may further complicate efforts to determine what's true and what's fake. We downloaded the Pentagon deepfake image and upload it into the platform. When a fake image purporting to show an explosion at the Pentagon went viral on Twitter in May, it led to a brief dip in the stock market. For a moment, there was concern America was under attack. Here we go. And it was able to pick up the Pentagon image as 78% fake. Wow. Rigil Gupta is the CEO of Deep Media, a company that has built technology to detect deep fakes. So if we look at what actually came through as fake in the detector, a lot of it, again, is about the clouds, right? The lighting conditions on the smoke aren't what a real-world explosion would appear mm. as. Rigil's company is working with the U.S. Air Force as the U.S. government prepares for what some fear will be a deluge of disinformation through deepfakes. The generative AI capabilities are just going to continue to grow. From a national security perspective, uh, what are the concerns here? That uh, photo that claimed that there was an explosion at the Pentagon is, is one example. Certainly that uh, could be used to target the decision-making process of U.S. leaders. The Pentagon itself has been concerned about deep fakes for some time. Matt Turek and William Corvey are part of the Pentagon's DARPA program. DARPA, shaping the future. DARPA was set up in 1958 amid concerns that the United States was falling behind in the space race. And today it is still tasked with keeping up with the latest cutting edge research and technology. So what, what this algorithm is asserting anyway is that this is computer generated. DARPA has been working for more than five years with American research and other institutions to develop technology to spot deepfakes. You can kind of see some tells maybe in the in the building in the background, right? It doesn't look quite real. It's really hard to generate apparently this fencing. Nation states have always had the ability to manipulate media. I think what is changing here is what's the level of skill and resources needed to create those uh, media manipulations. And as we're seeing, that continues to come down. Rigil Gupta demonstrated just how easy it is to create a fake image in seconds using a tool freely available online. And you can basically type in here anything and it'll, it'll create whatever. Yeah, pretty right. much. What should we try? What do you want to come up with and create today? Well, what if we create a fake image of Anderson Cooper doing karaoke? Sure. All right, let's see if this one gets it. Also, this is just remarkable how quickly this generates, right? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Um, I, I kind of like number four. They, they've, let, they've let his hair grow out of it. Rigel then ran the deepfake Anderson through his deepfake detection system. So here we see the results for our deepfake of Anderson Cooper singing karaoke. Interestingly, it got his face as being synthetically manipulated. Mm. But I guess it's picking up on the lighting on uh, this synthetic version of Anderson Cooper's uh, forehead and cheeks. Again, it picked up on this person over here as being synthetically there's, manipulated. There's nothing synthetic about Anderson's cheekbones. And while some deep fakes are clearly satire. Hey, baby boopy. I'm an absolute ball of zest and flavor. Like this Twitch account that streams hours of deep fake Trump and deep fake Biden insulting one another. There are very real concerns that this technology will be used to cause chaos and confusion in the 2024 election campaign. Professor Hani Farid studies deep fakes and disinformation. I think that the campaigns need to start thinking very carefully about how they are going to combat um, these disinformation campaigns because they are absolutely coming.